Pretend that this apple was planet Earth. Round, beautiful, full of good things. Notice its skin hugging and protecting the surface. Now, what do you suppose this represents? This represents how much of the Earth's surface is covered in water. So this is oceans, lakes, rivers, ponds, all water. That means the quarter that we have left represents the land. The land and half again. So half of this land is too dry, too hot, too high up, too cold to be productive in like an agricultural sense or a plant growing sense. So let's get rid of this half of the remaining quarter. So now all we have is an eighth of our apple world left. So of the remaining productive land, I'm gonna cut it into four pieces. So in half, and then in half again. So of the productive land on Earth, 75% of it is too wet, too rocky, too steep, um, too shallow, too poor of soil to support food production. So of our apple earth, this is how much of the land we can actually farm on. We're gonna take the remaining land and we're going to peel a thin layer off the surface. What do you think this represents? Yeah, so this is the top soil. This is the farmable soil that we have on the entire planet. So this represents 3% of the Earth's surface that is farmable or arable land. And of that 3%, there is a lot of bites being taken out of it. That's a bite for urban development. That's a bite for suburban growth. Cities, schools, hospitals, shopping centers, landfills. <laughs> Improper land management leading to erosion. So really, if we want to continue as a species, we're gonna have to care for, and even in some ways, I'm gonna put it back on there, regenerate our topsoil. It's a precious resource and really, um, and should be treated that way, right? As precious.